Bangers, glistening coastlines, vast jungles, vibrant culture, flavorful food. All right, here we go. Let's try this. And of course, handcrafted premium tequila. Yeah, These are the professionals, obviously. Sure, you could spend your days glued to the sun-drenched beaches that frame this gorgeous country. Welcome to the magic of the agave. Or you could learn a little bit about the drink that's North America's oldest distilled spirit. Chef and tequila connoisseur Irvin visits Mexico every year to immerse himself in the food, history, culture, and tequila. The terroir of Mexico brings you an endless supply of amazing, organic, beautiful, tasteful, wonderful, and exciting fruits, vegetables, the colors, the smells, the flavors. His drink of choice, the 100% agave tequila ocho. As long as you stick with Ocho, there's no hangover. We refer to that as the tequila epiphany. Everyone at one point or another experiences it. Some earlier in life, some later in life. We travel to Guadalajara, Arandas, and the ancient town of Tequila in search of the best this country has to offer. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, salud. Here's to you experiencing the tequila epiphany in the right way. In the right way. <laughs> as soon as possible. Immediately. The world's only single estate and single vintage tequila. With Tequila Ocho, every vintage and every rancho is completely unique. We were walking through the fields at Ocho. It was then that I saw, wow, this is, it was magical. It was amazing. What we wanted to do was create a tequila that had the maximum amount of agave flavor, so the fullest tequila flavor that we could accomplish while being wonderfully balanced and easy to drink. Carlos Camareno, a third generation tequila -o, and tequila ambassador and journalist Thomas Estes came together to create the first tequila to designate both the year it was produced and the precise field from which it was harvested, as is done with fine wines. For me, I define it in, in a Greek term, which I've understood is called meraki, pride, love, care, and putting a piece of oneself into something. At the La Altenia Distillery in Jalisco, you'll find tequila produced in a slow, artisanal way, resulting in a fine quality spirit that accentuates the agave flavor. Agave is not only a unique plant, it behaves very uniquely throughout all the process and it behaves uniquely on distillation. Once the Ocho is distilled, it ages in 200 litre American oak barrels, previously used for aging American whiskey. There are a lot of tequilas and agave spirits out there and they're not all the same. Some of them are made with love and care and meraki. Some are made rather grossly industrially and commercially, and then there's a lot all the way in between. To me, too much talking makes me thirsty. My mouth is dry. We need some tequila. Let's get out of here. For Chef Herb, being in Mexico inspired him more than he expected. What we're bringing forth with agave now, again, we're bringing the terroir of Mexico with us back to share with the people of Cayman. Mexicans have long identified tequila as more than just a national drink, but a unique symbol of their culture and environment. With massive commercial success, a global industry worth more than a billion dollars, the cultural significance is often overlooked. But it's people like Carlos Camarena and Thomas Estes that are keeping the authenticity of this fascinating spirit alive. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to you 
experiencing the tequila epiphany sooner than later. Cheers, Cheers. to the tequila epiphany. <laughs> to the tequila epiphany. Was that good? Okay. Not looking at the camera. No, no, no. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I glanced at it now. You don't want it coming out your nose, right? So be careful. Drink the tequila, the sooner you will meet and have the epiphany. Wait, wait, wait. Together? So reset? Is that a reset? Is that a reset? Reset? It takes you into a time warp. It all of a sudden takes you to when you were a child and you were first tasting food and everything was so wondrous and alive. It's kind of like that movie. Um, what was that movie? Uh, Avatar. That's it. Avatar. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly, we're on the same wavelength, man.